In this video, we're going to look at how you can add audio tracks and MP3 files onto a Google Sites so that the visitors to your sites can listen to these tracks. Now, if this is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and together we will explore educational technology made easy for teachers and students. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, I'm often asked, do these tips and tricks work on a Chromebook? And the answer is absolutely. So today I'm recording from my Chromebook. Now, as you can see, I'm in Chrome OS and I've opened up my Google Drive. Now, the first thing I would like you to do is create a new Google Sites. Right click, more, and then find Google Sites. Now, what's great is you can also use the brand new URL. So up in your Omnibox, what you can do now is you can simply type sites.new and this will automatically create a new Google Sites for you. The first step is for us to give it a title. So let's title this Adding Audio or Podcasts. Now, how can we add audio? The logic way that most people seem to think is add your MP3 files from your Google Drive. However, adding an audio track onto your new Google Sites is done in a slightly different way go to your folder, make sure that you have your MP3 files ready to go, and then right click on the first file. We are going to get a shareable link. We're going to make our way over to our Google Sites, a double click and select embed. You do not have to go to embed code. You can simply use buy URL and paste that link. This is going to read the link and we click on insert. All that's left now is to resize this box. So let's just resize that. And there we go. Now we can add some text. This is the first podcast or audio track. And you can repeat this process. Let's go to the next line. The second file, we're going to right click on the file, get shareable link, make our way over to our Google Sites, select embed from URL and insert. Wait for the file to load and then resize your iframe. And we can add some text here as well. So let's say this is our second track or podcast episode. There we go. Now, in order for us to make sure that this all works, let's go ahead and select preview. This is going to give us a preview of our website. You can see here I have my audio track iframe. Here I have my description. And when I press play, the music starts playing. I can also press play on our second track. And there we go. If you'd like to have a link to the files I've used here on this website, there will be a link to Ben Sound in the description below. Now, this is a very, very easy way of adding audio or podcast audio to your Google Sites. Now, I challenge you to explore this with your students, have them record their podcasts, host them on Google Drive and add them onto a Google Sites. And there you have it. It's very easy to add audio tracks onto a Google Sites and all the visitors to your sites will have access to these tracks and can listen to tracks great for podcasts or other types of audio that you have available. And if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to also check out the community tab as I will be sharing a lot more information in there. Join us in the comment section. Now I do read every single comment. And that being said, do check out one of these other videos available on the channel and I will see you in the next video.